hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to build this home page we have two component here navbar component and home page component so let's get started go to terminal and new terminal here just navigate to client client project and let's clear it let's generate our navbar component first and the generate component inside components let's create navbar let's skip test for now we don't need test here let's press enter and we have successfully created navbar component here inside app and component we have navbar component so let's add this component in our app component html so go to app component html app of router outlet let's add app navbar so here we have error app navbar is not known element that means we need to import our navbar component inside app component ts go to app component ts and here import our navbar component so let's save it and let's run our application npm start let's click this link control click We have navbar work here. Next, let's design our navbar component. Go to navbar component HTML. Control P. Navbar component HTML. Here, add div inside div mat toolbar. So let's import toolbar module in our navbar component here. Mac toolbar module let's import control click uh, vs code is not suggesting here so let's import manually import mat toolbar module from where from at angular and material inside material let's add toolbar let's save it and go to napper component html we have no error here and let's add color primary primary and here let's add one button in button mat icon button and inside button inside button let's add mat icon and let's say menu and let's go to navbar component and import mat button model and mat icon model here manually import mat icon module from angular material icon save it go to never component let's save it and go to browser we have our menu icon here let's add router link here for navigate to home page Let's add a and router link. And give slash path my app. And let, let's save it. Go to browser. We have my app and let's see console we don't have error here but 
we need to import router link in our navbar component so here let's import router link here and save it okay we have now slash router here let's add two link here login and register so go to component and here add div and give class double full here add div and inside div let's add another div and give class flex gap let's give 5 and item center inside this div let's add Let's add router link, add login route here and inside here login text here and here also let's duplicate it and add register here register let's save it we have login and register here we have no space between login and register add mac button and here also mat button save it we have our mat button let's click this login we have login work page and we have another register let's click register we don't have register page yet so for now don't worry about this register page okay now let's add our home page component go to terminal and let's add another terminal here let's generate home page component nggc inside physics let's generate home page and skip test look we have home page generate let's add home page component in route go to app route.ts here oh, let's add path and let's give input path here and component home page component let's save it go to browser go to home we have home or so home page is our default page when we don't have any route here so now let's design our home page go to home page component let's add div give class flex item center item center and let's say flex column and pt 56 will be good it's a screen for full height and here let's add another div give class is screen inside this tip let's add s1 and give class of text for xl and text center let's make it center font bold and mi10 will be good welcome to and let's add here some style in span tag text 5xl give class text 5xl text green green 800 and let's say my app and here let's add another div give class flex 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 cool item center gap 5 g5 justify center you can type gc and enter and inside this div let's add s1 and class takes to excel and add s1 add s1 
you are not to save it go to browser let's remove this class from here and save it okay and let's add anchor tag for navigating to login router link slash login add login inside anchor tag this it button plus pg blue 500 and over bg blue 700 text 5 font bold py2 px4 and rounded md let's say login save it go to browser we have login here we have mistake let's say router link and go to component let's import router link here save it go to browser we can navigate into login so next let's add google font in our application go to fonts.google.com and search for four pins select this four pins font and get font and get embed code and let's select import for web and let's select for this import let's copy this code and go to style.css and here let's paste it remove this style and save it go to tailwind config js and here let's add font family font family and here add four pins let's add let's add here four pins save it and go to index.html inside class here add font four pins and pg select let's remove this matte typography and save go to browser we have font changed Let's add padding in our navbar. Go to navbar HTML. Here, just give style padding 10 pixel, 30 pixel. Save it. 50 pixel will be good. Okay. We have home page and navbar component. Let's make this font big. Go to home page and class text to Excel. Text to Excel. Save it. Now it look good. 